The tabloids want Harry to break down. They want a very, very public breakdown of Harry. Both Harry and Meghan, actually. And my family, they'll never ever get what they want. My family, David Farnish, who is the husband of Elton John, a close friend of Prince Harry, was asked how Harry is doing. And my family, I want you to hear exactly what he said about Prince Harry. My family, please kindly hear this. Fine. Harry's great. He's, I mean, he's taken a lot of flack in the media. And you have to remember, he's taking on the media. So what actually happens in the courtroom and what you read about in the newspaper are often two very, very different things. Um, but we are in fairly regular contact. And he was very pleased the way things went in court. And he's doing really well. Fine. Harry's great. He's, I mean, he's taken a lot of flack in the media. And you have to remember, he's taking on the media. So what actually happens in the courtroom and what you read about in the newspaper are often two very, very different things. Um, but we are in fairly regular contact and he was very pleased the way things went in court and he's doing really well. My family, Prince Harry was very, very pleased with the way things went in court. And my family, he is in regular contact with his friend, David Farnish. And my family, you've also heard what you read in the papers is very, very different to what is coming out in court, to what's happening in court. I feel like that was very, very important for David Farnish to say. And the Prince Harry also has taken so much flack in the media, attacks, abuse, insults towards him and especially towards the woman he loves. And my family, it is time for justice. And I hope that Harry gets justice. After all the pain that Harry has had to go through because of the racist UK tabloid media who hounded his mother to death. Then my family hounded his ex-girlfriends and then hounded the woman he fell in love with, Megan. My family, it's high time that Harry gets justice and I hope that Harry is able to get justice because he deserves to get justice. Now my family, something else also has happened. My family, as you all know, Prince Harry is also trying to get his case versus the Sun tabloid owned by Rupert Murdoch to go to trial. And my family, once again, I hope he is able to achieve that. And some things have happened that you deserve to know. Now, Prince Harry is fighting for a trial in his hacking case against Rupert Maddox UK group and Prince Harry on Wednesday fought to take his phone hacking lawsuit against Rupert Maddox UK newspaper um, to trial asking London's High Court to let him rely on an alleged secret agreement between Britain's royal family and the publisher. Now my family, it's how Harry is always proven right time and time again. The tabloids don't hold people in power to account. They hold them to ransom. And that's why when Rupert Murdoch snaps his finger, even the Prime Minister of the UK attends his private parties and they have to come they have to attend it shows exactly just who is in power who's the person fully in power who's in charge in the UK and it is the Maddox and the Rothmeyers 
Before you even become a prime minister in the UK, somehow you have to speak to Rupert Murdoch. It has to be, you know, <laughs> Murdoch. Rupert Murdoch who decides who becomes the next prime minister in the UK. And that's why even the leader of opposition in the UK, the leader of the Labour Party, called K. Starmer, who's possibly the next prime minister, also attended Rupert Murdoch's private party. My family, Prince Harry was very, very right about what's going on my family. You know? About how the media is in bed with the government. Harry is right in everything. My family, Harry is right in everything. As he said, democracy fails when your press fails to scrutinize and hold the government accountable and instead chooses to get into bed with them so they can ensure the status quo. Harry was right. Very, very right. Because that's exactly what has been happening in the UK and what continues to happen in the UK. And people, the public, must demand change. Only they have the power to say, hey, look, we want better. We want something better. We want our media to behave like an actual decent media that follows, you know, the law, abides by the law, respects the law, upholds the law, is accountable. Only the public can demand that, my family. A media, journalists to behave ethically. The public are the ones who can demand that. And you know what? That's why the tablets are working so, so hard to try and turn the public against Harry Meghan for years now. For years now. My family. For many, many years now. And the tablets even, the Mandox Rothmills, are they're angry because Harry exposed exactly what's happening. My family, when you see a former prime minister leaving office to go and work for Daily Mail, you know, you must ask questions. You, you must ask questions, my family. You know, when have you, which country have you ever seen that kind of nonsense except in the UK? Whereby a former prime minister leaves office, actually steps down from office only to go and work and write columns for Daily Mail. I feel like the tablets are angry because Prince Harry simply exposed the truth of exactly what's going on, the corruption of it all, of what's going on. How can the press hold the government accountable when they're going into bed with the government, with prime ministers or even former prime ministers, my family, who've had access to classified information. You know, it just shows exactly just who are the power in the UK. And my family, and it's not the prime minister. It's also, especially, not someone like King Charles. It is the Maddox and the Rothmeyers. My family, no wonder, the economy in the UK is doing so, so bad. It's performing so, so poorly. Now, my family, Prince Harry is suing Maddox News Group newspapers for multiple unlawful acts allegedly committed on behalf of his tabloids, The Sun, and the now defunct News of the World from the mid-1990s until 
2016. My family am reminded that just a few months ago, Rupert Maddox owned Fox News in the US paid more than $700 million to Dominion, you know, over the lies, you know, Fox News spread that there was, you know, rigging in elections in the US. My family, they paid more than $700 million because uh, Rupert Murdoch wanted to avoid the embarrassment, humiliation, because that's how he sees it, of having to testify in open court to the world. That my family, once again, another media outlet owned by him, is lying to the public, lying to the American public. My family. And he paid $700 million just to avoid, you know, justify in open court. That's how Rupert Mado is. And my family, why is it that time and time again, it's his papers that are involved in unlawful acts? First, you've had the news of the world. Right now, Harry is suing the Sun Tablet, which already has settled many cases having to do with phone hacking claims while maintaining they never ever hacked anyone's phones, my family. You know, my family, how can anyone ever believe any media outlet owned by Rupert Murdoch after all the scandals that his so-called media outlets have been involved in? In the US right now, he is using his power his media outlets to go after Harry Meghan, to abuse Harry Meghan from TMZ, now owned by Rupert Murdoch. Page six, my family, Wall Street Journal, my family, all these media outlets are being weaponized to attack Harry Meghan. New York Post, all of them weaponized to attack Harry Meghan, to try and turn the public in America against Harry Meghan, just like what the tabloids did to Harry Meghan in the UK. Or because Murdoch, Rupert Murdoch, is afraid of Harry's court case. Or because he's trying to get Harry to drop his case against the Sun tabloid. Or because he wants to destroy Prince Harry and Meghan. To destroy their marriage. To ruin Harry's happiness because he wants, you know, to be able to write stories about Harry. To write some stories about Harry and get some money off of Harry. My family, make no mistake. The tabloids want to profit off of harassing, hounding Harry Meghan. Spreading lies about Harry Meghan. However, they don't want for Harry and Meghan to make money talking about their lives, speaking about their personal experiences. They don't want that. My family, I call that hypocrisy. Hypocrisy and also grifting. My family, I call it hypocrisy and also grifting. My family, people must wake up. And this person, Rupert Murdoch, must never ever be allowed you know, in any country to even own any media outlet. He has caused so much harm to democracies around the world. He has caused so much harm, especially in the US and even worse in the UK. Practically, right now, he's the guy running the UK. My family, and that's exactly what he wants to do in the US. My family, that person must never ever have been allowed to own a media outlet in the US. You know, he's someone who's addicted to power. 
and he has used his media outlets to commit evil acts. My family, that is what he has done, my family. You know, imagine calling Prince Harry Meghan liars. That's coming from a tabloid owned by Rupert Murdoch that paid more than $700 million because they lied that elections were stolen. And they had to pay up to $700 million, more than that, to sell the case with Dominion. I was suing them, my family, a voting company that was basically suing them, my family. You know, and yet someone can come to you and read a story from a Rupert Murdoch-owned media outlet who's attacking Harry and claim that it's a fact what they're saying about Harry and Meghan. The lies they're making up about Harry and Meghan. I wish people would just open their eyes. I wish, I wish, I wish. You know? No one should ever trust anything that's coming out of a Rupert Murdoch-owned media outlet, my family. My family, kindly allow me to continue my family. NGN, news group, newspapers, owned by Rupert Murdoch, which has settled more than a thousand phone hacking cases over the past decade applied in April to strike out Harry's claim, arguing he would have taken action sooner. So my family, imagine hacking someone's phone and then telling that person, hey look, you should have sued us sooner. <laughs> That's basically what they're saying, my family. It's basically what they are saying. That's basically what they are saying to Prince Harry. And my family, it's because that you have six years after learning about a crime that has happened or done to you. Let's say, you know, on a civil action that is. You have six years to file a case, my family. And they want this case that Harry is bringing struck out by the court because of that is too late that is what basically is happening right now they don't want this case to go to trial my family you know i hope that this case goes to trial i really really hope harry deserves to get justice after all the pain that has been caused to him now, Prince Harry, my family, has said that he did not bring a lawsuit until 2019 because of an agreement between Buckingham Palace and senior figures at NGN to relay any lawsuits by the royal family until the end of all other phone hacking litigation brought against NGN. NGN denies there was any such agreement that is what basically they are claiming my family and my family they're lying because we do know how in bed the royal family is with the tabloid media we do know how in bed the royal family is with the uk tablet press and harry deserves to get justice harry deserves to get justice my family and they know that harry could not bring a case while he was back being a senior member of the royal family. Why is that? Because Charles would call him to his palace, my family, to the palace, and tell him, Harry, you must drop this case. Charles would make his own deals because he wanted the tabloid to support him when time came for him to be king. That's what Charles did. My family, he also was doing them a favor by demanding that Harry drops his case against a Rupert Murdoch owned tabloid. That is what Charles was demanding, my family, of Harry. 
not even demanding my family, ordering Harry to drop his cases. And the tablets know that. And no wonder even, that's why they want Harry to come back so bad into that, you know, to be controlled by Charles and William. That's what they want so, so badly, my family, to be able to control Prince Harry. To be able to order her to do this and that. That is what they want. You know? To split her from Megan. Hoping that her will come back and thereby be controlled by William and Charles. Beg money from William and Charles to give him some money to use. And thereby they can order him to, to please do some favors for their media friends. You'll have photos of Harry. Harry would have to Go back to having the rota in events whereby he is going to. That is what they want. To put Harry back into that box. That roll box, my fam. To stay in it. Because they can't stand seeing Harry free. My family, Harry won't ever come back to that box. That box of abuse. That box of control, my family. Harry won't ever, ever come back to that, my family. After he has tasted freedom, he'll never, ever come back to that. And he also will never, ever abandon his wife and kids. To please his father, Charles William, or the UK tablet press, Harry will never, ever do that. Now, my family, on Wednesday, Prince Harry, through his lawyers, sought to rely on the alleged agreement to defeat NGN's bid to throw out his case and allow it to be had at trial in January, which will feature a similar claim by British actor Hugh Grant. Now, Harry alleges that NGN journalists or private investigators acting on their behalf unlawfully intercepted his voicemail messages commonly known as phone hacking and obtained private information such as phone bills and medical records by deception which NGN denies and David Sherborne who is his lawyer of my family argued that there was clear evidence of an agreement between NGN and the royal family, which meant Harry was unable to bring his lawsuit earlier. Harry said in a witness statement, my family, made public in April, that NGN settled William's claim for a huge sum of money in 2020 without any of the public being told. My family. As it goes, really, as the thing goes, my family, that William took the money and Harry went to court. A tale of two different people, my family. Harry went to court to seek justice. William took the money. It shows how Harry and William are very, very different, my family. William is someone who's going into bed. The same, same tabloid media who played a huge part in chasing his own mother to death. While Harry, on the other hand, refuses to make any deal whatsoever with those same, same tabloids, my family, that chased his mother to death, my family. One honors his mother's memory and the other one just does not respect his own mother's memory and family. And clearly, the table is now owned, Prince William. Now, Buckingham Palace has not commented. And William's office said that it will not comment on ongoing legal proceedings. And NGN declined to comment in April on whether it made a settlement with William. Oh, come on. Everybody knows you did. Everybody knows you did. Ari also said that his attempts to progress his case 
against NGN with the backing of the late Queen Elizabeth was stonewalled by NGN and Royal ADs. Royal staff were in communication with Rebecca Brooks, now CEO of Maddox British Arm, News UK, and News Corp. Chief Executive Robert Thompson about his lawsuit in 2017 and 2018, according to emails that were released in April. David Sherwood argued in court filings on Wednesday that NGN had not provided any evidence from Brooks and Thompson, despite the evidence having been identified as critical. NGN lawyers said that it had not given evidence from Brooks and Thompson as they were not working at NGN in 2012. In 2012, when the agreement was allegedly struck. The publisher also argues that even if there was uh, an agreement that was secret between the palace and the publisher, it would not apply until the end of other phone hacking claims. <laughs> on one side, they're lying. On the other side, they're saying, hey, look, even if it's true that there's some agreement between the palace and, and us, the tabloids, you know, then Harry needs to wait until all the other phone hacking claims are over. My family, you know, they keep proving that Harry is right. They keep proving that Harry is right, my family. They keep proving that Harry is right and that indeed they illegally and lawfully accessed Harry's private information, my family. That's what they are showing my family. And I hope that Harry gets justice. It's quite disgusting how the Roth family has gone into bed with the tabloid media, the Maddox and the Roth males, my family. You know, it's quite, quite despicable. And the ones who are harmed because of this, my family, are the public. And the public must now know that the Maddox and Roth males are basically the ones in charge of, the, of running the UK, my family. And whatever failings that's going on in the economy is their fault. And also the fault of the media that basically that they own really. For refusing to hold the government to account and instead choosing to get into bed with the government. Harry was right. Harry is always, always right. And my family... I hope Harry gets justice. I hope this case goes to trial, my family. That is what I really, really hope happens because my family, Harry has been wronged. He has been wronged so badly by the tabloids and also by the farm. And these secret deals they have with the tabloid media. My family. You know, and my family, this also shows if the royal family really wanted to protect Harry and Meghan, they could have, but they did not want to do that, my family. Instead, they leaked negative stories to get Harry and Meghan bullied, smeared, insulted, to cause so much damage to Harry and Meghan's mental health, my family. That is what the royal family did with the assistance of the UK media. And my family, every single day, you know, Harry and Meghan are being proven right in their decision to step back as senior members of the royal family and leave and flee the UK, actually, and flee the UK. My family, and only the public are the ones who are harmed. The royal family make the secret dubious deals, agreements with the tabloids. No wonder the UK and the economy is just going lower and lower that is performing so so badly my family no wonder my family harry is always right 
and it's high time. Now it's on the public to wake up and demand changes. It's high time the public demands a press that is responsible, behaves ethically. Not a press that hounds people to their death. That not a press that you know hounds people to their deaths. My family, like what they've done to Diana, Colin Flack, what they're trying even to do right now to Harry and Meghan. It's high time that people demand changes to the UK tabloid media landscape. It's high time the public demands reform because it's the public, they're the ones who can demand reforms. And my family, once again, I hope Harry gets justice. After all the pain they have put Harry through, I hope Harry gets justice. And once again, Harry has been proven right about the royal family having this sort of agreement with the tabloid, this invisible contract with the tabloids, Harry once again is being proven right, exactly as he said in the Oprah interview with Harry Meghan. My family. And it's high time people refuse to be lied to by the Rupert Murdoch on press and the Rothmere on press. My family. Prince Harry, we stand with you. And we hope you get justice, my family. We hope that Harry gets justice. And this case also passes a Rupert Murdoch on tablet goes to trial. My family, hate never wins, love wins. And with that and so much more, stay tuned on this video. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Petana, and Doria, Raglan, and all of you members of Squad at Home. Hate never wins, love wins. And stay tuned on next video. Love you always and forever. Choose love, not hate. Harry. Once again, it's been proven right. It's high time that people wake up and see what the problem really is. It's the Madoc on press and the Rothmere on press who are destroying Britain, who are destroying even the US using Fox News, my family. It's high time people wake up and demand reforms in the UK and also in the US, my family is high time that Ruba Madok, you know, media outlets, my family, is ownership of media outlets in the US is basically is removed from having any ownership in the US. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. Rupert Madok owned media outlets, spread hate and division to make money. It's high time that people say, no, 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 no. We don't want this. The world deserves something better. The public de demands better from the media. My family, it's high time. And only the people can do that. And that is what they should do. I hope that more and more people wake up. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you always and forever. He never wins, love wins, and choose love, not hate. My family. Hello, members of Musical Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love, Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Jessica Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love family, always and forever. Sayonara.